Hi, I'm Claudia St. John. I'm the president of Affinity HR Group, and we are your HR partner and resource. So in an earlier video, uh, I was discussing the metaphor that we all seem to be just in a very uh, difficult and ongoing storm with the global health pandemic. But what's interesting about this storm and what our VP of Recruiting and Talent Selection, Lisa Ritchie, says often is even though we're all in this storm together, we're actually in very different boats. Our experiences are very unique, and there are those who are in the boat for whom the tide is rising, uh, and things are going very well, and business is up, and they are um, the unexpected beneficiaries of good financial times. We also have those clients who are not doing as well, who are weathering the storm, although taking some significant hits, their tide is not rising as quickly. For those folks who might have already paid, uh, received the PPP loan and have had to return or had that money forgiven, um, those resources are no longer available and business is still not picked up. Many of them are facing the very difficult challenge of having to lay off, furlough, or even fire talent. So I want to address those in that boat uh, who are not necessarily uh, reaping the rewards of good fortune like some others are. In an earlier video, we talked about the difference between furlough and layoff, and we said that there really is no difference. Well, there really had not been much of a difference because we had not really experienced massive layoffs like we've experienced within the last few months. In fact, those who are furloughed are usually kept on payroll. They're simply not being paid. In that instance, you can continue to provide them with health insurance. Their benefits don't lapse. They don't lose their place in seniority. While they may not be accruing PTO, they still have an eligible bank of PTO for all intents and purposes. They're simply at home without pay, but are otherwise still engaged with your company. That's generally what a furlough looks like. Layoff is a termination of all of those things. And the difference between a layoff and firing somebody is just the intent, hopefully, to bring them back at some point in time in the future. If you have had to do the latter, laying off or firing employees, we wanted to talk a little bit about outplacement services and what you can do to make it a little bit easier. At Affinity HR Group, we are working with companies to help ease that transition for their employees. The things that they need to come to terms with, first of all, very simply, updating a resume. There are a lot of very good online resources for updating a resume. It's important to make sure that your resume is up to date with all of the data that you have available. You want to make sure that resume has verbs, um, action verbs that describe what the employee did. You want there to be some quantifiable viable evidence. You don't just want to list what you were responsible before, but what you actually achieved. You want your resume to have key search terms because all of these resumes are getting dumped into databases. And so if you have a job that might have two or three or four different uses, so operations or um, engineering or um, VP for um, supply chain that could all be considered under the banner of operations, you want to make sure that you're including all of the different types of positions available. You also want to make sure that your social media is where it needs to be. LinkedIn is the number one site for folks who are looking for jobs. You want to get somebody who's not connected to you in your social media circle to go online and see what they find. See what happens, what is on your Facebook page. Is it as locked up as you hope it is? Because those settings change so often that many of us think our social media is private and locked up, and it's not, and it's widely and publicly accessible. You want to make sure you've taken care of all of the social media settings before you start looking. And you want somebody to do a Google search of your name. If something comes up that's not you, it's not your name, or does come up that is you, but but it can be explained, you may want to lead with that when you're interviewing with a new employer because they don't want to be surprised. They want to know they heard that from you first. Finally, the easiest job transition is when you're going from the same position in the same industry. That's the easiest direct line of sight, and usually you can rely on your existing client networks, your, your relationships that you've built up professionally.
It's a little bit harder to go to the same job in a different industry or the same industry and a different job. It doesn't mean it's that hard. It doesn't mean that it's impossible. It just means you're going to have to explain yourself a little bit more. You're gonna to have to work a little bit harder on that. The hardest jump is to go from the same industry and the same job to a different industry and a different job. To do that, you really have to do your work to demonstrate how you will be effective, how your previous experience, behaviors, competencies ideally suit you for this new job. I encourage you and our um, career outplacement and career training folks uh, strongly encourage you to have all of those discussions, all of those thoughts, all that collateral material, all of it done before you make your first networking call because you can't go back to that network over and over again as you define and refine what it is you're looking for. Do the work now. Finally, the most important thing for those who are looking for a job is to spend as much time on yourself, keeping yourself mentally healthy, physically healthy, and in good spirits as looking through job boards and networking. If you are doing those things and you're stressed, if you haven't taken care of yourself, you will not be able to present your best self. So take the time to take care of yourself, spend no more than a couple of hours a day on your job search efforts and make sure that you're investing in you so that you can bring your best self when you have to go and look for a new job. These are the kinds of things that we're working with clients who are facing difficult times uh, during this global health pandemic. If you happen to be one of them or if you know somebody who is in the same boat, we encourage you to reach out to us because we are here to help you whenever you need help. Uh, that's all for now. We hope that you have a safe and productive work week. Take care.